Why? This feels harder than it should right now. Like, I feel like I'm not... I'm not... Oh, no. <laughs> that is bad. Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to the VGC Bounce in Regulation G video. Bringing you... Sylveon. I guess you could call this a Sylveon team. You can call it a T-Tart team, Escadrille team, Dialgo team, or even a Raquinid team. But I'm calling it a Sylveon team. We have Sylveon here today with the Pixelate, with the Throat Spray, with the Hyper Voice, Terra Blast, Shadow Ball, and Detect. Terra Blast is interesting on Sylveon specifically because even if you don't Terrastalize, there's still a use case for it. Especially if you're up against like Wide Guard on the opposing side of the field. You can just switch on over to Terra Blast, get that Pixelate boost from it regardless, and then just have a good old time. Not just that, Shadow Ball is great into Calyrex Shadow, and Hyper Voice is great into everybody. Hyper Voice is going to proc your throat spray, going to get that plus one special attack, and you're just going to be able to spam that over and over and over again. Yes, this is a Trick Room team with a sand package on it. We have the Dialga here with the pressure, with the Adamant Crystal, because we have to if you want to be in this form. Dragon Pulse, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Trick Room with a Water Terra. Going to be our standard primary Trick Room setter. Secondary setter going to be the NDD with the Follow Me Alluring Voice Helping Hand Trick Room, Rocky Helmet set to break all those fancy little sashes. And of course, a little bit of a sand package here, you know? We got to play snow in the last episode. We're playing sand today. We're getting all these other weathers in. I'm, I'm happy about this, you know? We've been playing sun and rain for a very long time. It's about time we get other weathers in. So we have here the uh, T-Tar with the Clear Amulet Rock Slide, High Horsepower Knockoff, Ghost Terra, Extra with Ghost, Ghost Terra as well with High Horsepower Iron Head Rock Slide, Protect, and Sand Rush. Of course, what other thing would you have on Excadrill? And then last but not least, we have our Wide Guard user with the Liquidation and Leech Life in Araquanid. Let's see what happens. Sylveon hurts a lot. Sylveon is very slow. Sylveon can work in Trick Room. And I haven't used Dialgo in a long time. I'm excited. Now, this team is from Derp Jorge, which I think is the first time I'm using one of Derp's team on the channel. I guess I should have called you Jorge because that's the one that actually sounds like an actual name. It's first time I'm using Jorge's team here on the channel. So, congrats, Jorge. You did it. Anyway, I'm excited to try this out. If you guys are excited to see it, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. With that said, let's get on to today's video. Hold the phone, there's a Lucario on the screen. And an Arcanine, yo, double justified? Could be, is a possibility. Annihilate's here, that's probably Final Gambit. Listen, I'ma do Indeedee, I'ma do Dialga. I think this is the Trick Room game for sure. Where we bring our Trick Room Pokemon. Do we bring our T-Tar though? Maybe T-Tar above Ara Araquanid? This T-Tar can kinda still work. In, in Trick Room, you know? Got High Horse, we have Rocks, we have Knock Off. You know what? Yeah. I'm feeling a little T-Tar, you know? A Rack when it's great and all. I don't really need Wide Guard into this matchup, though, and I think I don't really want to Water Type into a Maridon. So I think a Rack when it is gonna stay home today, and I think T-Tar is gonna join the party. No Excadrill for us, even though Excadrill would be kind of interesting as like a late game option. Or just Excadrill lead might scare them a lot too. Maybe it scares them away from the Maridon for us. Which gives us a free Trick Room. I'm assuming Annihilate bleeds. Yep. All right, I'm pretty much forced to do Indeedee things with Follow Me. Like sure, go ahead. Final Gambit, my Ndidi. I'm gonna lose Ndidi, but get my free swap in. And I will still get my Trick Room up. And this is why Follow Me Trick Room is as good as it is. And then we'll worry about Grimstar on screens later. At least we can't get T-waved or fake out it on our side of the field. There's the light screen. And here comes the Gambit. Yup. As expected. All right, bye Ndidi. Bye Annihilate. My opponent does come out of this turn slightly on top. Because now they can go into Maridon and turn off my terrain. But. I still have a Dialga on the field. I'm still a little scary. What do you guys think? Do I go Sylveon? Yeah. Especially if they're bringing Maridon in. I'm going to bring the Sylveon. I was thinking Titar originally, but I think Sylveon's the, the play here. I'm sure they got light screen up, but I'm still a threat. Hi, Maridon. How you doing? Um, my next option is, do we expect the Fairy Terra? Almost absolutely, right? Wait a darn minute. Wait just a darn second. We're Ground Terra here? Hold on. That's, like, legit. Yeah, that's the way. 
I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hyper voice first. And then I'll flash cannon Grim. I think I could take one hit from this guy, right? I'm sure I could take, oh, even better. <laughs> I'd rather ju them just protect. Let me get my throat spray first and then we'll Terra Blast them. That's legitimately huge for us. And if they, it looks like they are deciding to spear break our, our Sylveon, but I don't know if they're gonna get the opportunity to. I doubled into this Grim with double super effective moves. Oh, they spirit ring my other guy. Oh. Yeah, that will lower my special attack. Do I still take this KO, though? Oh, I cover my eyes when I attack? That's kind of cool. I do take the KO. Beautiful. Listen, your side of the field is dropping like flies, pal. That's all I'm saying. What's the last? They're down to two. Chomp. Yeah, I mean, at this point, they can only terrestrialize one. I'm going to Terra mine. I'm gonna predict the Terra Electric. Just go for the Terra Ground. Then ask for this Garchomp. Throw a Deep Pulse in that direction. I don't care if I'm negative one. Here's my Terra time. Let's see if they fall for this. Now, if they do Fairy Terra, that would be a little worse for me. But then I just switch on back to Hyper Voice, you know? It wouldn't be the end of the world. I still have a couple Trick Room turns left. All right, the, yep, there's the Moride on Terrestrialization. What are we going to get? What flavor will it be? Dang it. Okay. Oh, well. That's fine. My ground Terra is still good into the Maridon, right? I'm still a threat, just not the threat. I highly doubt they went for a dragon move on my Sylveon. Yeah, that does not cut it on damage. Wow, that did very little damage, actually. AV, maybe? No, because they protected last turn. Yeah, that can't be. Poison jab? Well, I'm glad it's rastalized. <laughs> I sure am. They do get the poison with the poison jab. That's a little unfortunate. But if I hyper voice there, the Garchomp would have been dead dead. Brother, you're calm minding? That light screen is helping them a lot. Not going to lie. And now with that calm mind, that makes it a little bit harder. What do you guys think? They protect again? I think that's the most likely situation. Yeah, they definitely protect. Just for more lefties recovery, and it stalls another turn in my trick room, which I have two more turns of. Okay, so they can't avoid me forever. Let me switch to Hyper Voice. Let me get the special attack back on my my big scary dragon man. Get my Titar on the field. You're not the only one with a giant Godzilla thing. Kaiju. What if I accidentally gave them like Sand Veil or something stupid, and now I miss my Hyper Voice? Oh my goodness, I would throw my controller into the window. Okay, I uh, got a little scared for a second. Now nah, they're gone. Beautiful. One more turn of Trick Room. What you gonna do? Maridon, what's the plan? Not to mention, Maridon can't do a lot of damage to my T-Tar either with the sand up. And now that I'm ground there, I don't do damage to myself either. Yo! This team cooks. This team's fun. Derp Jorge. You popped off here, buddy. I like the synergy. I'm like finding accidental synergies with this team. It's fun. Um, all my moves miss. This one gets stab. I go with the stab. I go with the stab flinch. Hyper voice. Ah, I'm not doing damage to this thing though. Rock slide connects. It's not gone yet. But we got the flinch, baby. <laughs> Woo, that's good. You know what else is good? More sand chip. Oh wait, no, because they have lefties never mind i could waste the turn of their terrain though but then they could also just calm mind on me oh the light screen wore off oh they weren't light clay that's good news last turn of terrain yeah okay i should i should play this somewhat intelligently let's just double protect get rid of that terrain that way, that makes the Maridon a little bit more tolerable. Gets rid of the Hadron engine. Parabot, yo, okay. Okay, that's not gonna do a lot at all, though. Dude, like, you're not even gonna heal that much back, because Titar is not gonna take that much damage from a Parabolic charge while I have the sand up. 
But I get it, they need HP back. And then Sylveon's not gonna take any damage from Parabolic Charge. Now, I think this is pretty much all she wrote. They are a plus one, though. That is worth noting. I wonder if I should keep going for Rock Slot. Nah. I think I'll, I'll switch over to the more accurate moves. I'll still go for Hyper Voice here, but I'm gonna just go for a high horsepower instead. It's 5% more accurate, so. Let's go for that accuracy instead. For the poison, okay. I was like, what's the purpose here? What are we doing? But it's for the poison. Listen, I get it, but you're gonna need a double to win. Opponents playing to their win con. I respect it. But I think their win con might be too far away. Dude, left is combined with like super special defense on this Maridon. This Maridon is cooked. It means business. All right, 36 HP left. I still have enough time to do some things. We high horsed. They go for the double. They don't get it. I think even if they got that double, I lived to like two or something. High horse, gonna knock out Maridon. Taking a dub here with Sylveon. Ground Terra to boot. And honestly, did work. Did a lot of work. Stopped that poison jab from one-shotting us. Allowed me not to take sand chip on top of my poison. It was great. Like if my Sylveon was just normal poison that whole time, and I was taking chance sand chip that whole time, it would have been gone. Easily gone. But you know what? Kudos. On to the next. Nate. Nate out here hasn't left Pokemon red and blue. <laughs> Full Kanto team, double evolution with a Mewtwo. And let's not ignore the Moltres. Also, what is Venusaur doing here? This is a team that even I can't pilot well. We all did. We definitely trick room against this, right? Absolutely trick room against this. I'm a, a little bit afraid about giving expanding force to a Mewtwo. But let's just sit here and trick room. Let's bring Sylveon in the back. And Aqua Bubble goes pretty hard, actually. Yeah, this might be an Araquanid game for sure. Deals uh, deals good damage into the Venusaur. Deals good damage into the Rhydon. We're going to have a little bit of a problem with the Vaporeon more than anything else, I think. Because everything we have doesn't really touch Vaporeon. But uh, that also includes everything that we didn't bring. There's nothing on this team that touches a Vaporeon, unfortunately. Vaporeon's just too darn good. And Nate Dog out here barking up a storm with this kind of a team. Right on Venusaur, gonna be their lead. As we in DD Dialga. I almost don't want to give Trick Room to this guy. Do you guys think an EQ from a Ride on KOs us? I don't think so. I think we're kind of safe to just follow me Trick Room this. No need to overthink, just do our thing. I'm a big fan of that. Think later, act now. Sounds like a good time. The Venusaur is a little problematic for me. Unless they're terrestrializing it right now. Rhydon. Are they Fairy Terra? Balloon. Okay. That's not the end of the world. It's definitely interesting. It just means I can't Earth Power them now. Oh boy. I have no idea what to expect here. That is a Leech Seed Venusaur, and that is a Stealth Rock Flying Terra Rhydon. What is happening? Who do we go for first? I think it's the Venusaur, right? I think we just keep clicking follow me because I don't want them to get double seeds on me. This is going to be a long game, huh? Dragon Pulse does more, so let's go for Dragon Pulse. And yeah, I think I'm going to keep clicking follow me because I really don't want to get seated again on my Dialga slot. I got no idea what to expect out of this ride on, but so far it's uh, it said Stealth Rocks on me. Now, it, listen, if you're going to go straight Gen 1 only, I think going tanky and slow paced is the way to do it, right? It's a Terra Blast. Fly flying Terra Terra Blast. Okay. Does that mean it's its only attacking move? Or is that just the highest damage output that it has? Not even half, okay. And the acid spray here now. Okay, next turn, what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna helping hand and go for the deep pulse. That should be enough to knock it out, hopefully. 
No, they're probably protecting for Leech Seed. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is irritating. Yeah, they're definitely protecting for Leech Seed. 100%. So I'll rotate targets here. I'll go for the D-Pulse on Rhydon. I was just helping hand this. They haven't hit a ground move yet, which is a little scary. It's a little sketch. Now, if they don't get click protect, they're real, real. But they're real, real. They're earthquaking themselves. Ouch. I could have knocked out that Venusaur this turn. Unfortunate, man. Free deep pulse now onto the ride on, though. Oh, where's your Eviolite, pal? That shouldn't have straight one shot. I mean, granted, special defense ain't quite there for Rhydon, that's for sure, but... Oh, that's why they EQ. They have Synthesis. There's, there's Synthesis, Black Sludge, Leech Seed, probably Protect, right? They got all of their health back, like it's nobody's business. Alright, well, Araquanid joined the party. Thank you. Let's get Araquanid in here. We still have a couple turns at the Trick Room. Show me something like Moltres, please. Uh, I still don't know how I'm going to defeat this guy. I think I'm just going to have to fully commit to attacking a Venusaur, right? The good news is Vaporeon also can't do much damage into me. I think I'm going to double the, the Venu. It'll help me get my health back, and also I think it will get the KO. I gotta make sure I have I make use of these Trick Room turns. I don't have many left. Again, what does the Vaporeon do? Our Leech Life's gonna chip it. I think we do the rest with Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse was about was doing about half. Beautiful. Okay. Why this feels harder than it should right now? Like I feel like I'm not. I'm not. Oh no, <laughs> that is bad. That is incredibly bad. Because he can do that four more times and I can't stop it. And then Mewtwo is there. I'm deaf. I'm leech life in that guy, that's for sure. Now, knowing anybody trying to use a Mewtwo on ladder, they have to scarf it, right? There's like no other way to use Mewtwo on ladder. So I think I'm just going to fully commit to just knocking out everything else except for Vaporeon. My opponent also hasn't clicked Protect once, and they don't, they have Stealth Rocks on their team, so I'm not even entirely convinced this isn't a singles team. Is this a uh, bye-bye Mewtwo? Bye-bye Mewtwo, nice. Okay, now all that's left is Vaporeon. That's calm-minded calm once. And I was clicking Muddy Water. But we're eating. Nice. All right, I need to set Trick Room back up. That's for sure. And I'm curious how much Leech Seed is going to do. My guess is not much. Or Leech Life, excuse me. My guess is not much. They Muddy Water again. The Alga's going to avoid. That's always nice. In case I miss Trick Room because of an accuracy drop. No, you can't do that. Leech Life. Honestly, we're fine. Honestly, we're fine. I was scared for a second. I'm not scared anymore. Cause I'm gonna get the trickeromp now. I'm gonna get another, another leech life in here because they don't have protect on anybody. And we'll see how much Dialga can do through the light screen. What do you guys think? Should we try to get uh, Sylveon on the screen? I think we try to get Sylveon on the screen. Welcome to the battle, Sylveon. You did it. You made it. We can't go for any water moves on this thing because of water absorb, but we can keep going for leech life. Kudos to my team for my opponent's team for having a little bit of fun here. Gen one only. Oh, they—they they do have protect. It is a doubles team. Wild. So I got that free swap in a Sylveon. So that means they're gonna sit here and they're gonna try to stall my trick room turns. Again, fair enough. I I would do the same. I get it. It looks like I don't have to terrestrialize this game, though. That's at least good news. 
I could also be wide guarding all these muddy waters and just locking in my victory, but I'd rather just leech life and do some damage. My options are endless here. And leech life. Om nom 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 nom. As long as they can't out damage Araquanid, we're fine. And yelling. Not a lot of damage, but hopefully the next one will be. Yeah, I think they realized they can't do damage here. They need a, they need a couple more combines, but it, it might be too little too late though. I knew from Team Slack this Vaporeon was gonna be the last one alive and it's gonna take forever to knock out. I knew it. They're, pr they're gonna protect this turn, by the way, in case you guys uh, didn't, didn't realize that. I'm just gonna show them wide guard just to, you know, scare them a little bit. Be like, oh wait, he has the win con. Oh, boo hoo, no. We'll see if we can force the forfeit. Well, we sure did. What was this? What was this game? That was a game too if I've ever seen one. <laughs> On to the next. Still undefeated with Sylveon, I guess. GG's. All right, this is a little bit more meta. A little bit more scary. And there's an Among Us, so I don't even want to go Trick Room. So what do we do? Yeah, this is difficult. It's not easy. I don't hate a T-Tar Exodro lead. In fact, I think that might be the way that we go. But I also do think we need a Trick Room-esque thing in the back. So it might just have to be Sylvia on Dialga in the back. How the heck do we defeat that Among Us? Any team that's playing Among Us will never lead an Among Us if they're up against Hard Trick Room. I feel. I guess my team isn't technically Hard Trick Room, but you know, it's not far off. They're probably gonna lead with Instant if I had to guess just for my just for the Intimidate on my side, but then we have the T-Tar with Clear Amulet, so we should be fine on that in that aspect. T-Tar in general is also very good into their Calyrex Shadow. That's why I want to go T-Tar. They go Ursh, really? Fascinating yet horrible. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna fully commit here. I'm gonna Ghost Terra. I'm gonna try to eliminate the, the Urge from the game. I'm still going for the High Horse. They would need a Tailwind to be faster. They would also need a Surging Strikes to be fa to, to get rid of my extra drill. They're gonna Water Terra. Yep, they're gonna Surging Strikes. I'm just hoping that they're targeting the the T-Tar instead. Or else the extra drill is going to drop like a bag of flies. How do you even get that many flies in the bag? I don't know. Alright, T-Tar is starting to Terra. Let's see if I called this correctly. Did they target the T-Tar? Or did they target the extra drill? They rain dance. That's unfortunate. They're definitely faster now. Well, at least they didn't Tailwind. Um, so th there's a possibility. No, yeah, extra build dead. Uh, there's a possibility I'll be able to one-shot the T-Tar. We'll see, though. There's definitely a possibility. Yeah, extra drill's dropping. Okay. I don't know, man. Rock slide, not even close to dropping. Do you guys, I think we just get Tailwind up or Trick Room up for sure, right? I'm definitely getting CC'd here if they're not scarfed. Or just taunted, actually. Yeah, they're gonna taunt me. Well, if they have Rain Dance, they have Rain Dance and Taunt? Maybe. I'm gonna Rock Slide again. I'm gonna attempt a Trick Room. And I'll be sad if they have Rain if they have Taunt too. Rain Dance and Taunt is a little much. Surging Strikes again. Okay, looks like they're not taunting then. That's good. Are they just bleak winning me? I think T-Tar lives this, but not if they Bleak Wind. 
They're definitely bleak winding though. Yeah. Yo, give me negative speed on Dialga, please. Thanks. Awesome. It listened. All right, guys. It's up to Sylveon, literally. Literally up to Sylveon and only Sylveon. Trick room's up. And it's time to game. We're gonna go Sylveon. We're gonna go Hyper Voice. I'm gonna turn off our brains and play the games. Yeah, but that's literally all we have to do. Hyper Voice, this, that should clear the field at least. Um, they have fairies? No fairies, so I can't, I, I can go for just Dragon Pulses over and over again. Dragon Pulse is also my highest damage output into that Amoongus. So I'm gonna go for it. I guess I could go for Flash Cannon just to get special D drops, but it's not the end of the world. Flash Cannon's resisted on the, on the Earth, so I don't want to be doing that. They're gonna swap out the Torn, actually. Really? What does Calyrex do for you? I mean, granted, Calyrex isn't gonna take that much damage. They're double swapping? Really? Where's everyone going? Show me Amoongus, right? Fine! No Amoongus? Sounds like a good time to me. I wonder who they fake out next turn, though. Decent damage. Here's the Hyper Voice. Wish I doubled the Calyrex, but I didn't. Who do they fake out? <sighs> I don't know. I think I just keep double attacking. Honestly. Because I don't want to sit here and try to guess the fake out game. I'm also going to go for a Flash Cannon just in case they have Fairy Terra on Calyrex. Oh no, they, they use Terra already. Whatever. Flash Cannon's fine anyway. They fake out my Sylveon. Okay. That kind of sucks, not going to lie. I swear, if this lives at one, I should have Dragon Pulsed! Oh no! I can take an Astral though. We eat. We eat! We eat, we eat, we eat. We're fine. Hyper Voice. Dragon Pulse. Keep it simple, keep it stupid. They can protect if they want. Um, I hope they don't, but they can. I just need to make sure that both Sylveon and Dialga stay alive. Because if my Trick Room runs out, and that Ursh comes back in, Ursh can essentially pick and choose which one to knock out, right? That's my issue. Alright, there's a Protect. Kind of expected, so it's fine. I should still have two more turns after this one. Incense dropping. They're definitely going to go Torn in now. Probably Protect Torn. But the good news is they can't Protect Urshifu. So as long as I can knock out a Calyrex this turn, that's all I need to do. Rain's going to stop. Okay. Because Torn can't win the game on this on its own. Urshifu definitely can. And if they go Urshifu here, they're just throwing. If they don't have Taunt, they definitely have Protect, though. They have Tailwind, Bleakwind, Rain Dance, Protect. Why are they throwing? They're throwing to me. Brother, I know you're Scarfed. Oh, this is my last turn in Trick Room. I thought I had two turns left. I guess not. But yeah, brother, I know you're Scarfed. Unless they're going to double swap into Torn now to sag it. But then if I have two Pokemon in the field, Ursh can only attack one at a time. Or they just double protect with this Calyrex here. That would make me a little sad. Oh, I guess, yeah, that is a way to win, huh? Oh, kudos to them. I think they found a way through. Oh, especially now. Oh, GG, I lose. I lived at seven. I mean, that's something, but I still think I lose. Unless my Dialga can miraculously live. But it won't. It won't. I think I think the Astral Barrage is enough to knock me. Kudos to them, man. They played well. I can't even be mad. They played really well. Games are a lot harder when the opponent isn't running a Mewtwo Venusaur. <laughs> They're so much harder. 
Twisted Dimensions, re unfortunately, return to normal. Ah. <sighs> What is, what is my win con? Do I have one? My win con would be having quick attack right about now. I don't have it. Dang, they take this. Ah! Imagine I had quick attack right now, man. Imagine. Yeah, GG's. We hyper voiced. And we pray for a super mega low roll? I don't know. We, it doesn't cut it here. Maybe I needed a rack when in this game. GG, they crit. I asked for a roll. I asked for a low roll. Game gave me a crit. I, the crit didn't matter, by the way, guys. But I'm just yelling because that's just funny. I asked for a low roll. I get a crit. Sounds about right. <laughs> Fun game, nevertheless. Gonna take home a loss here at the end. Sakura. Also, I didn't mention this. Great trainer card. That was cute. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching to the very end of the video. Thank you so much, Derp Jorge, for going ahead and posting this team on the Pokesports Discord. If you guys enjoyed yourselves here, consider leaving a like on your way out. And if you want to go ahead and have a team maybe appear here on Pokesports, join the Discord, join the Rental Codes chat, post the Rental Code, post Poke Paste, add a little bit of spice, might play here on the channel. Regardless, have yourselves a fabulous rest of your night. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Kevin's Pokesports. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs>